how do you choose what what's going to go into a program? I mean, is it what you want? What Sometimes it depends what the band can play. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, as a caller, uh, I want to know what what's the band do. I'm, if I have an old time string band, I'm I'm not going to go and call Ted Sinella dances to to that. And if I have a band that's a really strong, you know, New England style band, I I I would be crazy to try to call you know Appalachian big set or any kind of really fast kind of Appalachian thing. So it's a lot just depends. Now it's true, it is fun sometimes to take a dance in one style and adapt it to another style. I once saw Chip Hendrickson do a workshop. Um, where he took just because the the figure called it as a straight as a patter call, did it as a New England quadrille, and did it as a singing square, you know, just to show that you could the that music. Was at the Ralph Page gave it a different uh, feeling, you know. It was, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and um, and I like to do that sometimes. I mean, I will sometimes call a New England style square to a. Uh, an old time tune, but I might tell the band, don't play it as fast as you ordinarily would. Um, and I might, I might try to take a singing call figure that I like and do it as a, as a patter call, basically. If I don't have a band that knows the tune, that knows the Can tune. You, I'll put you on the spot. Can you think of an example of where? Yeah. Um, hmm, let's see. Well, yeah, I, I take hurry, hurry, hurry. <clears throat> you can call that any any 32 bar tune. Yeah, and I've done just because I've taken that figure. If I'm if I have a group of folks, uh, contra dancers, where I have a lot of beginners, and I've just taught them a contra with ladies chain, and I want to do something else with ladies chain in a little different formation, I may do take the the just because figure. And call it to an old time tune, or call it to a New England style tune. If I don't, if I have a band that doesn't play just because, and can't imagine themselves ever playing a singing square, which happens frequently. First of all, if I have a group of folks that maybe aren't too familiar with squares, or I don't know what they know, um, the first square that I'm going to call is going to be one where you stay with your partner the whole time. So it's probably eliminates. 75 to 80 percent of all New England style squares that are that where you you know because most of those are you end up swinging your corner so for the most part I'm going to do something where people are going to stay with their partner so it's probably going to be some kind of southern style thing um, now I do do one one that I do is my own dance which is called first night quadrille and I can do that to just about any kind of music. Um, but there are lots of others that are more, you know, first couple out to the right in a circle four, pick up two more in circle six, pick up two more in circle eight, out man left your corner. I mean, it could be as simple as that. There'll be or, a hot time in the old time tonight. Yeah, we could do, yeah, I do that as, as a non-singing square from time to time uh, with a basket figure. Right. Um, yeah, and, and then if if that seems like, you know, everybody's got Alaman left, Grand right, and left, and then I'm, I might, depending on what I've taught before, will depend on if I do a singing square, if I have a band that can play for singing squares, yeah, I might do just because at that point, which has ladies change and has a partner change, so there's a dynamic there that maybe they haven't seen before. And then in the second half, if I get to do two more squares, well, then I'm, I can do lots of things. <laughs> so, um, but I do have a pretty set repertoire of stuff that I use for groups that are mainly contra dance groups. Mm. Um, I try to keep it pretty, keep the teaching very, very simple. And I try to do things that they're already familiar with. I know they know how to do ladies' chains and right and left throughs, many of them already. Maybe I've already done those figures in a contra. So maybe towards the end of the evening or the second square, if I do another set of two squares in the second half, I might do something like Camille's quadrille uh, with no walkthrough at all because it's all just right and left throughs and ladies' chains and, and a lot of swinging different people. And that's another thing that I really like to look for is 
in any dance, whether it's a contra or a square, is what kind of interaction between folks is going on in this dance. You know, is there's a, contra dancers tend to want dances that have lots of interaction with lots of different people. But they tend to like dances where you're swinging your corner and then interacting with somebody else. They tend to like those a fair amount. Mm -hmm. um, whereas a visiting couple dance where you're keeping the same partner and there's a lot of standing around probably isn't going to be all that popular. Mm -hmm. So ultimately what I want to do is have people say, wow, that was a square dance and it was fun. And have them go away thinking, oh, square dancing, that's not so bad after all. <laughs>